really delightful design. It's going to be fun. Cool. Really, the history of the print is a graphic medium and a mass communicating type of medium, especially now that there are software programs that simulate the old techniques. What many students find is coming in here and learning the traditional or pure um, methods of developing a color print um, is an education in itself. It definitely has been very disciplining. You put forth so much effort and there's so many steps. The blog looks good, except for your little scratch. Mm -hmm. So I thought a bowl of fruit would be easy, and I was dead wrong about that. Um, my print really didn't come out anything like I thought it was going to. Um, so what if you make a mistake? The good thing about the copper plate is you can actually, it's a very funny kind of eraser, but you scrape away the burr, because you need to um, scrape it at an angle like this. So you're going to scrape off, and scrape off just what I put there a second ago. You can draw as though you were drawing with a pen on a piece of paper in a taglio. And in relief, you can subtract, you can take away, and you can draw in a negative sense, which is really quite exciting for some of us to push our, our ability to see. And none of the symbols mean anything. I just made them up. And I, I wanted it like, because I'm an abstract thinker, I always like to see a lot of things at once. So I wanted a whole bunch of things in the background. There's so much latitude in the process. There is, um, there's so much flexibility in what you can use. There's so many materials that you can put together. It's great. I had no idea what to expect. I knew there was carving of some sort. I didn't know what. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's been a great experience learning something new and different that most people don't even know about.